hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can set up the simple route and we are opening this uh, simple plate which is create plate of this categories so now we are going to implement this create to blade and we are going to add a model into this category plate so let's get started so here i'm going to add uh, some margin at the top style margin top and here i'm going to add this 100 px right so let's go over and get refresh and yes now it looks good so here i'm going to add a simple href button so which is used for adding the category so i'm naming this so add category and i'm also assigning a class of btn btn info you can btn info and i'm also going to remove this href from there because we are going to open a model from there we are not going to redirect our this uh, when we are clicking on this so this one is now available at category so now let's go to the bootstrap website and grab the model code so you can search here a model so it's a bootstrap model so it's uh, when we click on this button so we want to display a pop-up uh, form so we are going to get this from the bootstrap so you can say that it would be like this right so we are going to copy this model let's go here and here you need to you can paste this anywhere which you want because it would be automatically visible at the center of your uh, form right so not form your web browser so you can add this anywhere so i'm adding this uh, top so you can add the comment around it that it this would be a uh, model so let's save this one and first we need to make the target that where we want to click on this uh, click on this button and then we want to display this model okay so we need to set the target property so let me go to the documentation and view this how it's opening this one so launch this uh, model let me copy this and this is uh, with the more descriptive for copy this one go down 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 okay go here and uh, now i'm going to remove this stuff from there and paste this on right so this would be responsible for launch model okay so let's get refreshed it will add a button with this model so let's click on this and it's launching this model so i don't want to click on this launch model so i want to click on this add category and then this model will be pop up so how i can do this so we need to define this uh, type button basically we need to add this uh, property data bs model and then this would be target bs target so this would be now uh, we can access let me add this here so now we can do this uh, through this add category i can click on this and our model will be appear click on this and yes now it's appearing so we are going to remove this launch model so let me go there and remove this from there okay also remove this comment from there and here i'm going to add a model title so i'm going to add a category so for now i'm not going to add any title because we are going to make this for create and edit right so we are not going to create two ones for uh, separate for create and edit so we are going to add uh, uh, dynamic uh, category uh, dynamic model title so let me remove this uh, model title and here i'm going to assign um, uh, let me assign an id so this would be a model so you can say that it would be a model title right so we can save or you can do this so uh, through jquery and this would be a save changes button right so we can also append this like uh, save changes or update changes right so I'm also removing this uh, button text from there. So here I'm going to add an ID of this button. So I'm going to add this uh, um, model button or you can say that save BTN, right? Save BTN, no, let me make this correct BTN. Okay, now it's fine. And let me add here some uh, two fields. The first one is for name and second one is for categories. So here i'm going to add div dot uh, we don't need to add the row so we need to simply add the form group so let me search this if there is any form group is defined here 
so then I'm going to grab this form group so we don't need to manually call this let me set this form group uh, not group uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay let me find this for make this responsive so here we are using this margin top and let me copy this from there and here I'm going to add a, basically I'm going to add an input field for name and then I'm going to I'm not going to copy any of the stuff because people confuse that what I'm going to do this so here I'm going to simply add uh, an input and this input would be responsible for name so I don't need this name here because we are going to send this through jQuery so we don't need to mention this name we need to define the ID or we need to add the class or selector so I'm naming this uh, name and uh, here this would be a class of uh, uh, form control it would be a form control and then I'm going to create uh, another div dot uh, row and here I'm going to add a select uh, box where I'm going to add its uh, category type right so type and this would be uh, option where i'm going to add this so uh, disable and then it would be auto selected so this would be our choose option where we can choose our category right so i'm doing this faster because it's a basic uh, html dude. so in the value i need to add this so uh, a simple category so i'm adding this so uh, electronic electronic and this oops and here i need to also mention it's name electronic and I need to also add this uh, class of form control which is uh, make use for making the input fields and select boss responsive so let's get refresh and click on this category and yes it's now appearing but so we don't have any space between them so we need to add uh, some space between them and then we are going to so we need to add the form group so here I'm going to add a form group class. I'm not sure what's the exact class, but uh, most I I'm not uh, going to design anything for you because uh, this tutorial is about jQuery and Laravel. So I'm also not big fan of this uh, designing. So I'll, most of the time I focus on the backend side so let's uh, get refresh as so where i need to mention the one so this would more well so let's click on this add category and uh, now it looks uh, good so i need to also add the label for name and category so here let's go here and add a label for name and this would be for type right so here i need to define the type so let's so uh, save this one and give it a refresh and yes now it looks pretty right so our this video is going long so in the next video we are going to assign this save button and uh, uh, we are going to assign this a uh, value and uh, then we are going to uh, also set this model title and we are going to submit this form i will meet you in the next one bye bye